third chakra, the solar plexus, positive pole or given mode in male body, negative pole or receiving mode in female body. The third chakra in a man has a positive pole because of this, men are born to make home and shelter and they actively use this energy to make their tribe. And they create boundaries within their tribe. That's definitely me. Men are born to be warrior, whereas in a female's body, the third chakra has a negative pole and is hence receiving mode in, in, in receiving mode. But in 21st century's lifestyle, women need to work a lot and manage everything by themselves. So sometimes the chakra is becoming very active also in women. And that's why you feel some women have less feminist quality and some have more. Wow. Wow. Is that a good thing? That last part, is that a, is that an unbalance? I, I mean, we know we will adapt to whatever situation we have to adapt to. So I'm not, yeah. I'm not blaming women. You got to do, you know, some women have to do whatever you have to do. You, you have to survive. Well, we're going to have to pay for that in the long run, you think? Do we need to correct that? Well, again, let's say a woman is pinging strong on that chakra. Her womb chakra is going to be very weak. Because the, the one chakra, can, you can't have two chakras side by side that are going to be strong because it's throwing the, the balance out. You, you have to have that figure eight. It's got to flow that way between the two chakras. So I'll just, you know, from personal experience, I'll just, you know, share a little bit of, you know, how I found. And anytime I've done a chakra test, my solar plexus is like my weakest chakra mm. as far as pushing out because I, I have a hard time on my own pushing forward. That's just not me by nature. Even in my um, astrology charts, the feminine is way high and the masculine is low. That's just by nature how I came to this planet. Now, not everybody does. Right. But the hardest thing for me was to keep the balance or activate it enough for me as a single mother to be able to move things forward. So the, I worked with the chakra boosters lady in a lot. I mean, I had, you know, consultations with her every month for a long, long time. And she just kept telling me, you know, you need to get, you need to get on your, your, uh, but it, it was out of, it's so out of character for me. It's, it's just hard for me to do that. Now I can, I can get into the nurturing chakras all day long. That's me. That's natural. That's just how, how I feel, you know, it's just a natural thing, right. but to get into that, that masculine chakra to push outward, it's just, it, it, that has, and I've, I've wondered, it's so interesting. I'm glad you're reading this because it's making me understand a little bit more the dynamic and why it's so hard for me to get into that chakra. I, I just about can't. 